find like right and wrong in a like, religious framework. Like for example, I'll I derive my objective morality from say um, the teachings of Christ, for example. And then you derive your morality from say the Prophet Muhammad as a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying based on that object objective yeah. morality as you defining it by following Muhammad, yeah. like, why, why do you specifically follow so him? The reason why I follow him, someone else. The reason, the reason um, I follow him. Like, because what, what message did he, gives, did he promote? No, no, not just not just message. He gave he gave me a solution to my life. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, so, that, so, so, for example, in every aspect, when I have an argument with my wife, how to deal with it? Okay. If the situation is, for example, let's say. Mercy, 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 mercy. He's always talking about mercy. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I did not come for nothing but to perfect good character. Meaning, Islam comes to develop you as a self, to be disciplined. So every one of us have urges. We have urges to do certain things, be it sexual, be it whatever it may be. Islam has come to fight a jihad. Number one, there's two kinds of jihad. Number two is <coughs> a war. You're in war. But not the jihad that you're talking about. We're going and attacking innocent people. That's rubbish. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Jihad is a form of defending yourself in warfare, just like Churchill when he went to attack Nazi Germany. Nobody's going to come and say he is not peaceful. He had to defend himself. So what, even though he did a lot of atrocities as well, what I'm trying to say is Islam is there as a way of life to tell you how to live every aspect of your life. Even when you're going to the toilet, even when you're eating, how to eat, when to eat, how to sit down, etc. Do you get what I'm trying to say? There's a big movement happening. So all I'm just saying is, is that if you look at Islam as a whole, it's come to develop your uh, self and discipline yourself. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's what Islam is for, and to worship God alone. Islam has come to say, worship God alone, and it's deserve, deserve a, uh, of worship. That's what it is in a nutshell. Okay. Um, also, I want to ask a question about Muhammad. Um, yeah. What's that? Oh, sorry. My, like, they, they like, like, <laughs> how do you um, explain to people like why they should follow him as opposed to someone else that says he's a Christian? Why should like, follow people, him? Yeah, why, why should because, people follow Because, uh, look, look, let me put it like this, yeah? The Jesus you're talking about, is it the Jesus of the Bible? Uh, yeah, you could say so, yeah. yeah but so not, we, not we, in a Trinitarian frame. No, no, I, I mean, know. But the Jesus in the Bible, yeah, I he, don't believe that's the Jesus that lived. That's just a perception that's been put forth. Okay. The Jesus that I believe in, yes, everyone's peaceful. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But there's reality that we have. Yeah. So in the, in the Bible it says, if somebody slaps you, turn the other cheek. How many is going to come here today and say, oh, if you slap me, I'll turn the other cheek. You're not, mate. You're going to be realistic. If you slap me, either I'll forgive you, which Islam says you can forgive, or I'm going to slap you back. Now you can't come and say, oh, you're such a terrorist guy. No, mate, it's called self-defense. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Which happened last week, you know? So all I'm saying is, and even though, even though, even though I, there was aggressors on, it was, it was aggressors on both sides, yeah? There was aggressors on both sides, but... The first strike came from that side, yeah? So there was, a, even though I disagree with the whole situation that happened. But all I'm saying is, is that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has told us a way of life to live, yeah? yeah Not right just, you. people just concentrate on, oh, um, but he said this, and he did this. Look, he was a leader. He fought wars, just like Moses did, yeah? But these wars were not unjustified, or he went and killed innocent people. He forbid it. One of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. The revenge shall be mine, sir. The what, sir? The revenge of God. Revenge. You, you're talking about revenge. If someone slaps you on the cheek, you slap them back. Yeah, yeah. yeah Self-defense. Self yeah. It is a form of revenge. Though, yeah, but I'm yeah. saying that. No, no, but you have a right. That's 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 your right. You, you can call the it revenge. The ultimate perfection is like Christ, where he did. He didn't answer back when he. No, oh, well, when he if you look at Luke chapter 19 verse 27, Jesus said, "Those of my enemies who didn't reign, allow me to reign over them. Bring them here and slay them." I'm saying Jesus. You have to be realistic here. So yes, you should forgive. Allah says in the Quran that if somebody kills my brother, I have three options. Number one, yeah, I accept blood money. Yeah, I forgive or I want retribution. Yeah, so I can choose. And Allah says it's better for you to forgive. It's better like, you know, yeah, forgive. So, so forgive. of course, of course, well, that's the best thing. Allah says that in the Quran. But what I'm saying is the Prophet Mays, peace of God, came to us to tell us about our whole lifestyle, how to live our life. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a way of life. It's not even just a religion. So when you talk about Jesus, peace be upon him, I believe Jesus, peace be upon him, would agree 100% with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Do you get it? But the Jesus you're talking about in the Bible, I believe is a different Jesus to what I know in the Quran. Yeah, but sorry, could you just like, explain it further? Like, why, why would you follow Muhammad? Like, what message of his, like, would you He's justify on an objective moral basis to follow? 
No, what no. I'm trying to say. Okay, what, what do you that define as moral? Like, what way is morality to you? What do you define as right or wrong? Where does it come from? Uh, I don't know. You could you could um, define like right and wrong in a really like, good framework. Like, for example, I'll, I do have my objective morality from say um, teaching a price, for example. And then you derive your morality from say the Prophet Muhammad as a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, based on that object, objective yeah. morality. You defined it by following Muhammad. Yeah. Like why, why do you specifically follow well, him? The reason why I follow him. To someone else. The reason, the reason um, I follow him. Now, what, what message did he, he gives, promote? No, no, not just, not just message. He gave, he gave me a solution to my life. Okay. Yeah? yeah could you so, so, that, like, so, so, for example, in every aspect, when I have an argument with my wife, how to deal with it. Okay. If a situation is, for example, let's say, <coughs> if a couple wants a divorce, how to deal with it? How to treat your wife? <coughs> how to uh, treat your <coughs> friends? How to have a relationship with God? How to have a relationship in business? How to have a relationship in all sorts of things? Do you know what yeah, I'm trying to say? I'll, I'll, so, so it's 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 no no no. It's practical. Okay, yeah. The message you're talking about, yeah. for example. No, no, forget my message. No, I'm no, no, about no, 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 no. From, like, okay, I'm saying the Prophet yeah. Peace gave a realistic solution to realistic problems. Yeah, but so that's why I believe. Why is his unique compared to like? No, it is no. It, no why to, is it unique? Based on what? On who are you comparing it with? Him? Based on um, you following him as opposed to someone who? else. Like you, you follow yeah. Muhammad. Yes. I'm saying um, because you follow him. Yeah, because someone we, else. we believe I'm saying, like, why, Because why, we believe he's a prophet he? from yeah. God, and okay. if God has chosen a prophet, I'm yeah. sure God knows best who's going to be best for mankind than okay. me. Okay. Yeah. So if God has chosen a prophet, okay. and if he's a true prophet, then he is going to tell me the best thing for me. Okay. So that's why I have to follow him. So when he came with the message of worship God alone, yeah, yeah Jesus claimed this, Moses claimed this, Abraham claimed this, Noah uh, claimed this, um, Adam claimed this, all the thousands of prophets claimed this. Worship God alone. Yeah. So the message is the same with Jesus, peace be upon him. Do you get yeah. what I'm trying to say? So his lifestyle that he told us is just practical. It's not a dream. If somebody comes and starts uh, shooting you, kiss him in the forehead. No, you're going to defend yourself. You might sound beautiful. Wow, so dramatic, so amazing. But realistically, come on, man, you need to defend yourself. Yeah, but that's a natural. That's no, no, a natural exactly, reaction. exactly. That's what I'm saying. No, so, I, I so that big, big foot tax is inferior. <laughs> big foot tax is inferior. Wait, it is substandard. And your prophet is not a touch on Jesus. I was, I was talking to him. So. I, know, I want to correct you. After him, I'm when, you, when you exalt Jesus, Muhammad, he's got his eyes. Yeah, he was in Muhammad. He was there to save mankind. Yeah. No, no. All, all, no, 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 no. all of the prophets. Jesus prior, is there to save yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone that comes down the line. They came for that specific people. Were for specific the prophet people. came. Said, the prophet. The first, the first, the it's first a mercy to mankind. From Ishmael. We have one from Ishmael, the, the only prophet on the line of Ishmael. Yeah. Is prophet Muhammad, the savior of mankind. Yeah. Jesus is the savior of mankind. Okay, so we can we can argue about that all night. Okay. No, it's Muhammad. So what I what I'm saying is what, what, I'm, what I'm just saying. Is, so what I'm what I'm just saying is the Prophet peace be upon him is known to be a mercy to mankind. Yeah. Brother, brother, brother. That's your take. We can disagree. Yeah. All I'm saying is. Brothers, one second, yeah. All I'm, all I'm saying is that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, if he's a true prophet, should he be someone to be followed? If he's a true prophet, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, he was imperfect. No, if he's a true prophet, he had to no, ask he for forgiveness. He had to ask for forgiveness. He is not a reliable guy. Okay, thank you. If, if you believe he's a true prophet, then yeah, he should be followed. But um, how do you, um, what criteria do you use to establish that he's the uh, Jesus did. messenger of God? Yeah. What criteria do you use? Sorry? I said, what criteria do you use to establish that he's the true messenger of God? And okay, so firstly, now, we look at... Why is your God Jesus? So, so we look at... Now, I want you to talk in private. One second, one second. So, so... So what we do is, yeah, he's asking why the Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet, yeah, okay. Yeah, there is many arguments to this, yeah. There is miracles, there's prophecies, yeah. him as a character, yeah? yeah. We have three options, yeah. Either he was truthful, either if he was a liar, either he was deluded. Is there anything else? Think about it. Truthful, liar or deluded? As a criteria for being a true As a criteria, we look at him. Either he's a truthful prophet, or he's a liar, or he's deluded. But you can be, be a bit of um, all, all of that. You can, he could be truthful. He could be, he could be truthful in some of what he says. He could be a liar in some of what he says. He could be deluded in what he says. No, I'm talking in totality. In totality. I, I don't know. You, you tell me. I'm asking. Okay, let me go with a liar. Why does a person lie? Get out of trouble. Uh, to get out of trouble. Or. We're sending all porkies here. So, 
why to push the agenda for, to push the agenda for we, to gain to gain yeah, yeah okay now if a person is being threatened that they will kill him yeah. and they tell him that they will give him whatever he likes women red camels by the way red camels don't belittle it was like a ferrari back then yeah okay red camels women status whatever you like just be quiet don't convey the message of islam if somebody is lying to achieve that, would he accept it or not? If someone is lying to gain a status or do it for worldly benefits, and if those worldly benefits are produced to him, would he accept that or not? If my objective is that I want a, a few wives, and yeah. I want a few Ferraris, and I want a few houses, and, so you, and I want to be a leader. Lie, and you'd lie to do that. If I'm lying because of that, yeah. and that's presented to me, yeah. would I accept it or reject it? I don't know, you might do. No, why would I might do? Would I, am, am I, would I reject it or not? I, I, I don't really understand the question. If you, yeah. your objective is to have cars yeah, and women, cars. yeah, and you're lying to achieve that, yeah, I and I come to you and say you can have it, oh yeah, you give me, I'll, yeah, I'll would you, it. Yeah, would, take you it. take it, yeah? yeah? Okay, the prophet said, yeah. if you gave the moon on my left and the sun on my right, or yeah. other way around, I will not stop preaching what I'm preaching. Oh. Does that sound like a liar to you? Uh, they, they, could, they could say that, yeah, he says that no matter what anyone does to me, I'm going to say what I believe in. Yeah, no, I know. Is he a prophet? Is he? No, no, I'm not saying that's the only person. No, 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 I'm not saying, I'm not saying because of this principle. No, no. We don't, no, no, one second, one second. I'm not saying. He already told us everything about you. <laughs> Who told you? Well, I'm, 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 I'm not saying that's just a criteria. One second, guys. Uh, one second, one second. So that's why I'm saying you can't be a liar. Yeah? yeah. No, but just because he might proclaim himself not to be a liar, that doesn't mean. No, he did not. He did, he did not proclaim. Wait, an example that his you enemies gave. proclaimed. Okay. His enemies proclaimed that he was truthful. His. Look, let me say something. Yeah. yeah. Brothers, I can't. This is not you. <laughs> if he was a liar, he yeah. would have accepted that. He would have been. They would have made give him a status. They would have. Brothers, please forgive me. Yeah, but, you know, I can't hear. Do you want to? Shall I move? Shall I move a bit this side? No, stay there. Stay there. Let me just move here. Yeah? Come, come here. If he was a liar, he would have accepted that. He would say, thank you, give me the woman, give me my red camels, yeah? Give me all of this, I'm going to stop preaching, yeah? yeah. He said, no, <laughs> I'm going to preach. So he's been persecuted, yeah. he's got his life is at risk, but he carries on for his message, yeah. yeah? That shows that he can't be a liar. I'm not just saying that's because of the prophet. I don't believe that. No, no, why, no, that's why, that's why do you believe it? Why do you believe it? Okay, same example. You have a black man who told Robin that you might believe that his message is a lie, but he'll keep um, going on despite despite that message according to you being a lie. So does that make no, him truthful? No, stay, stay. Would that make him truthful? No, you're missing you're missing the point. Is, if he was, if he, look, he is being no, no, no. He's being persecuted. Continue with his message. He's being persecuted. Yeah. For what? To just. Tell people to worship God alone. He doesn't have yeah. no benefits out of it. He's not making money out of it. He's actually getting, his life is in danger. Yeah. To say God is one. Yeah. If, so, if my life is in danger for claiming something, yeah, and somebody that, brings bro. a few women and cars and money and this, that, fam, I'm like, yeah, safe, fam. I'm, I'm, I buy, I'm chilling, yeah? I'm going yeah. to Dubai or Hawaii. Yeah. So I'm saying the fact that he rejected it yeah. shows that he does not care about worldly benefits. Wait, what did he reject in, in, in Mon Muhammad's case? Money, from women, who? red camels, from the pagan Arabs who were trying to persecute him. Okay. Yeah? They said, stop your message, just shh, be quiet. Yeah. yeah? They were stopping his freedom of speech, yeah? Be quiet. He said, no, I'm going to convey this message, even though he was being persecuted. Yeah. That shows that he's not a liar, because a liar would have took that and say, yeah, thank you. Not I'm necessarily, I, I still don't agree. Why not? Tell me why not. I don't, say, someone could be a... Um, they, they could be um, a liar, but still uh, push the message despite um, like being uh, persecuted. No, no, what, 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 benef what benefits? For what? I don't know. They, they, well, a they, person they, lies. There might be an ulterior motive not, to doing that. Thank you, but I'm seeing what's the ulterior motive for the person? I'm not sure. It depends on the person. There's okay, what could it be? Tell me what's the ulterior motive for saying uh, worship God alone? I don't know. It's, I can't think of it right now, but, no, no, but if you can't think of it, then why are you rejecting on base something? No, you can't I'm not rejecting. I'm saying they could. They could. No, no, I'm but I don't do could be. So I'm sorry, but you can't. You can't say. No, no, no. But one second. From right now, yeah. till, forget could be, right now, can he be a liar? I don't know, he, he, 
he could. I'm saying he could. I'm not saying he's Sir, he is. Or no, not. I understand. He could no, be. no, 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 no. Could be is on what are you basing that perception on? That you might have an ulterior motive. No, no, no. But right from what I've told you. Okay, from, from what you told me, then probably not. Okay, so that's what we're going with. Okay, that could be. You can come later and say, you know, Ali, it could have been this. Inside. Yeah. You, 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 you could just yeah, yeah. No, he has. Yes, I'm not trying. To, I'm just saying no, from I'm not, what. I'm not saying he is alive. From what? Because if you ask me a question, are you a human? And I said I could be. No, no, it's different though. No, it's not it's different. Not the same analogy. No, it's not different because I, I can say to you from an atheist worldview, I can be a blue dragon who lives in Mars and I'm being controlled. Yeah, but we're not atheists. No, that's what I'm saying. I can say could be. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Okay. So I'm saying. Yeah, I know. No, trust me. Some people believe in dragons. Trust me. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying he cannot be a liar. Yeah. Now let's look if he's deluded. Yeah. Okay. When his son died, the moon eclipsed. Okay. His companions ran to him. Yeah. I said, "You're a true prophet, because look, your son died and the moon eclipsed for your son." If he's a deluded person, what would you do? I'm not sure you he'll take advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, you, because if he's a false prophet, he yeah. will take advantage of the opportunity and say, yes, see, one of my signs is that my son died in the moon eclipse. I told you I'm a true prophet. Yeah. He said the moon only eclipse for anybody's death. Nobody's death. Is that a deluded man? Is that a man who's going to take advantage of his prophethood? He could have easily. Why did he reject it? He said there's something natural. Why did he reject it? So he cannot be deluded. So use that to his advantage. The only option we have is, is he truthful? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to the Quraysh, the pagan Arabs who were persecuting him, yeah? He said, if I told you guys, there is an army behind this hill coming to kill us, would you believe me? They said, we know you to be the truthful one. We'll believe you. Look at this. They're saying to him, they're claiming it. They hate his guts. And they're saying, we know you to be the truthful. You've always been the truthful one, yeah? So even, can you imagine if you hate someone, you would say, you know what, nah, I'm going to say it. Even though you hate him, they said you're the truthful one. He said, I'm telling you, I'm the messenger of God, you rejected me. Can you believe this? I'm telling you, if there's an army behind the hills, we'll definitely believe you, you're the truthful one. Yeah? But when it comes to... When logic kicks in... But when, cut that bit out, cut that bit out, don't put that. I'm saying, I'm saying, look at this, yeah? If you know someone to be truthful, if you know someone to be truthful, you accept his message wherever it is. He's saying, if there's an army behind this mountain, you believe me. When I tell you I'm the messenger of God, you deny me. Hypocrisy. So therefore we know that he has to be a truthful person. Ali, and Ali. I'm going to start charging for this. You know that? <laughs> yeah, good one. I can make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, like, do you have any other like, criteria that's more clear? That's, no, that's, that's one. Oh, okay. Yeah? Okay. Now. That's like more clear cut. I wouldn't be yeah. like, subject to debate. One second. <laughs> Now, for example, um, his prophecies, yeah? Okay. He had a lot of prophecies. Yeah. For example, there's many, I don't know if I like, for example, there will come a time where barefooted Bedouin will compete with each other to build tall buildings. Yeah? yeah again, what Bedouin? Though. Bedouin, like, you know, like, Arab, like, the, the um, like people who live in the desert. You know, shepherds like, proper Bedouins. Like, shepherds, well, like, nomads. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He said there will come a time where barefooted Bedouins, barefoot yeah. Bedouins, will race with one another okay. in competing in tall buildings. Yeah? Like the Zulus in Africa. Oh, yeah. yeah, so what I'm saying is, for example, which country has discovered oil in the desert and now is competing in racing with each other? Oh, no, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, yeah? yeah? This is just one prophecy, yeah? He had prophecies, for example, on uh, many situations, yeah? I'm just trying to... So I'm you, trying that, you know the prophecies you're talking yeah. about? You, you mentioned what some that are like more like clear cut that won't be like coincidental for example. So for example, he said that there will be that would have happened. Huh? Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that, that's a bit vague that one. The, the, but this one, for one, example, he said, said he said about for example Ali radiallahu an and his wife for Aisha, yeah? yeah? There will be a conflict between them two. And yeah. in the conflict, he specifically said yeah. something about dogs and that there will be dogs. Um, I can't really remember. If anyone they, they, they remind me, yeah? a specific situation that there's going to be a conflict between Ali and Aisha, yeah. and that Ali is going to be like, like Aisha is going to make a mistake. There was a mistake that she would have done on her part, yeah, unintentionally. Yeah, it was specific, like from. <laughs>